Let's go down south of the border for some tequila and tacos right now, Mexico way, with the World on Wheels team. So we start in Mexico City. We pick up our bikes in Mexico City, but of course we get out of Mexico City as quickly as possible. We head to the coast and we go to Acapulco. Mm. Mexico actually has three coastlines. There's the Pacific coast, the Gulf of Mexico, of course, and the Caribbean coast. And so we spend a bit of time on the Pacific coast down south, and then we head inland and do some jungles. We go across the border into Guatemala, mm. and we finish this tour in Cancun on the Caribbean coast. Guatemala is one of those evocative sounding places that doesn't disappoint. Yeah, yeah. wonderful jungle and coffee plantations. Jungles, and. Yeah. And of course we take in Belize, which is a real contrast to the other two countries that we visit. So am I right in thinking this tour includes some of the jungles obviously, so yes. beautiful coastlines, a bit of that sort of desert-like arid country, a Not, big variety of landscapes? Yes, semi-arid, semi-arid landscapes and of course the highlight is we visit the pyramids of the Aztec and the Mayan architecture, mm. the pyramids outside Mexico City itself, Teotihuacan is a splendid example. Mark Hinchliffe, who goes by the name of Mr. Motorbike Rider. He and his wife, Mrs. Motorbike Rider, came with us on the Mexico <laughs> tour on a, an R1200. And he's written an article recently exclaiming that Mexico has become his favorite riding destination of anywhere in the world. So that's a pretty big rep. He's it's traveled a lot. Too. Huge rep. Yeah. It's day four of the Tacos and Tequila tour, and we're always surprised by the, by the roads we're coming across. We've been going for hundreds of kilometers on this sort of stuff. It's just brilliant. Yeah, and the roads in Mexico, I think, offer us a bit of choice in terms of the riding style. So sometimes we take to the main road and have the good black, and then other times we're on the small village roads and the small town roads, which offer that extra bit of culture and riding complexity. It's a one-way tour only. We pick up the bikes in Mexico City and we travel something like 3,000 kilometres and we hand back the bikes in their secondary depot in Cancun. Cancun, of course, is very close to Cuba. A few people decide to extend their experience by flying to Cuba or the Bahamas or Miami or anywhere else in that part of the world. <laughs>